Hi, Vince. Thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate it. Um, I did have a question about the um the watch time. <laughs> so you said that um there are other ways to build lists um besides the the brick wall landing page and that you were sending you're driving your traffic someplace else instead of trying to collect their information from the landing page. Yes. So um <laughs> I'm trying not I don't want to make this a big pitch fest, but basically what I do is I drive traffic directly to my webinar, right? So I don't sit them to register. I drive them right to the webinar. I can identify the problem. They get to go right to the webinar. And what our software does is you can actually build an audience of the person that watches the webinar in social media platforms as they're watching it. So then if they watch it for a certain time, the software allows you to have a, a lead pop that extends from the video and you can capture the lead to get them to continue watching. So I don't, it basically inverts the funnel. So you don't have, you can send all 100%, just get on the webinar. Now, not all of them are going to watch all the way through, but the ones that do opt in, we found 85% watch 100% of the, the video. So of the webinar, which essentially has allowed us to get 51 times faster sales. Because if you use a traditional brick wall funnel, if you send 100 people, 20 people opt in, 35% of the people either show up or watch it, even if it's evergreen. Okay, that's, I believe, what, seven people? That's seven people out of the 20. And then the offer or book a call page is zero. You actually need 250 people on a brick wall funnel to hit it, to get a sale based on math, 20%, 35% watch, two to 5% purchase. So when I eliminate that, 100% hit the page, we get 50 to 60% opt in to keep watching. So let's say it's 60 people opt in to keep watching. Even if the other 40 didn't opt in, I still build an invisible list that go into a bucket where I can run that same webinar back to them. And then because 85% watch the whole video, I'm exposing my offer to 51 more times, 51 times more people on the same 100 clicks. So I just started playing math. I was like, I had to get, it's kind of like if you're sick, right? All the time and you just take NyQuil or you're like, I'm going outside, I'm rolling around in dirt and I'm not washing my hands after I go to the bathroom. Like do that, you probably wouldn't be sick as much. So I had to like figure out the source of the problem. It's really not, the, it, I'm, I'm still using a funnel. I just was creative in how I'm getting people to the offer, which is the thing that makes you money. And that's kind of because I'm conscious of that, if that makes sense. Okay, and that's just specific to your software? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, Shari. Next, we are going to Dante. Unmute yourself, please. Hello, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for all the information tonight. Um, I'm currently building landing pages myself too, but my question, I just want to make sure I understood you correctly. So you're saying that um, when when people come to your traffic and you let them see the videos, is there some point in time that you still have them opt in through their email? Um, I do. Yeah, I usually do it at the point where they're hooked, where they want to continue watching. Because not only I don't know, if I kind of breezed over it. But with a brick wall page, people are literally opting in out of curiosity. They don't know what you have on the next step. Correct. But when they opt into my webinar, they're opting in out of necessity because they actually want to continue watching. So we actually get the not the spam email. We get the real email. And just a quick tip, one of the ways I do that is right after they opt in, I basically tell them, hey, pricing details of everything has been sent to your inbox. So if you enter the wrong data, refresh and opt in again, I just tell them that. And they wouldn't, most people gave you the right email, but on occasion I'll go in and check our analytics and I'll see people opt in again. And it'll be like one thing and they left off on the fake email just because they don't want to get to the end of the webinar and not be able to buy. And I'll still pitch at the end of the webinar, but I just say that one little sentence right there. And now we, we see 55% email open rates um, and over 40% click through rates on our email because of how they're actually opting in. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. That answered my question. All good. Awesome. Thank you, Dante. So that is our time. Um, unfortunately, Vince, Vince does have somewhere to be. Um, but thank you so much for all this information that you provided for us. Um, this has been absolutely amazing, full of information, full of gems. So RP earners, I definitely recommend that you rewatch this because he gave you a lot of information. And sometimes you cannot catch it, you know, while it's live. But um, definitely go ahead and go through the recording. And Vince, I will go ahead and pass the mic to you if you have any other um other last minute gems you want to leave us with? No, I just want to say thank you guys for 
listening. I mean, you could be anywhere in the world and you're here. And I, I just want to encourage you guys, no matter where you are in your business and no matter how much all these people try to tell you things are easy, growing a business is hard. All right. Growing a business is hard. It's not easy. And you're in the right place. And I think that it's just those of you who just can withstand the painful points in your business are the ones that are going to win. I tell my I tell my kids, I tell my the people that I mentor that frustration okay, is the world's way of telling you you're closer to the money. Because see, the average person, the second they feel a little bit of resistance, the second they feel a little bit of frustration, they quit. And if you have the mindset that there's money, like anytime you, I don't know how to do that. I don't know I, what he said. Sounds like I don't know how to do that. A lot of people don't know how to do that. Figure out how to do that. That's the money. Because why? You can use it for yourself and you can teach it to others. That's all I got for you guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, Marcus, for having me. Anytime, you guys, anytime you have questions, just, just um, hit me up and I'm there for you guys. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Have a good night, RP earners. And Vince, thank you once again and have a good night. Take care, guys.